Hey, everybody, it's me, Tom Dalden, TV show host, philosopher, humanitarian, but most importantly, I'm an art lover. So today, unfortunately, we're not here, here to talk about me. We're here to talk about probably the most important art fair this side of Orion's Belt. And I know that because I have Orion's Belt right here. See how nice that is? It's the Ann Arbor Art Fair. See right there. Um, and it's happening. It's coming up real quick. And I have two very important guests with me today who I'm going to let them introduce themselves because I'm so bad with names. I call my wife Hun. Um, so Karen, go ahead. Um, so I am Karen Delhay. I am the executive director of the Guild of Artists and Artisans and the Ann Arbor Summer Art Fair. Awesome. And Mark? Hi, I'm Mark Studdis. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm a glass artist. been working for about 40 years, and I've done Ann Arbor for many, many years. Yeah, um, this art fair is near and dear to my heart because I have a philosophy. I All the art in my home, and I've said this before, and I'm, I'm adamant about it, every piece of art I have in my home, I've met the artist. I think it's so much more fun and interesting to actually have a backstory behind each piece of art that I have. So I know the person, I know the process, I know where they live, who they are. Um, and I got a lot of art in my house, but I still managed to find places to put it. I have so much <laughs> art that I managed. I, I'm, now I'm looking for pieces that are functional. Like I've got a ladle spoon. I just got it in an art show um, next to my, it's made from like that melted glass. But um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's, well, just, and, yeah, it's so yeah, important. You just hit the nail on the head. That's what the beauty of an art fair is, is art is such a personal thing and making those connections really that's what it's about. It's coming in, meeting the artist, making the connection and buying the art. Well, people probably get tired of coming to my house because I every piece of art has a story. So I take them around the house and they'll say, oh, that's nice. And oh, let me tell you about it. Let me tell you about the artist. Let me tell you what he lives. Let me tell you what he lives. So, so Mark, you're an artist. What's it like to have talent? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how to answer that, but <laughs> I, you know, I, I started off very young and I've always, always drawn and always worked in making things. And I, I came from a family where my father was a um, basic worker, but he, he always, he could fix anything and he did things with his hands. And I sort of inherited that. And I went to art school. I went to Cleveland Institute of Art. Um, when I was there, it was a five-year program. Uh, I, I graduated with a bachelor of fine arts degree with a major in glass and a minor in drawing. So I've always done things, always made things with my hands. And, and it seems very natural to me. I I'm dumbfounded when I run across somebody that doesn't do things like that. So. Well, now Karen, the art fair starts on, give, give me the date so people know when it's coming. So it starts Thursday, July 15th and it ends Saturday, July 17th. Um, Thursday and Friday, it runs from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Saturday, it's 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And of course, it's all through downtown Ann Arbor, which is one of my favorite cities on the planet. It's so full of intellectual and creative energy. And it's such a diverse and welcoming community. Um, and the restaurants and just the natural beauty of the area. It's just a great place to put on an art show. It's it like, really is. It really it's like, is. It's like this beautiful palette to display all these beautiful things. So um Mark, what's it like for you? I mean, I know what it's like for me being an art fan and art lover and somebody who purchases way too much of this stuff. Um, what's it like? What's the experience like for you? Well, Ann Arbor is a great town. It's always wonderful to come every year. Um, my daughter has, has done it with me for years. Um, she's 26 now, but back in the day, she was a big soccer player and Ann Arbor happened to fall between soccer seasons. So it was the only show of the year that she could do. So we did it together and it's always become a kind of a father daughter thing. Um, There's a huge amount of artists in town, uh, great following of, of collectors that come. There's something for everyone there. Um, you don't have to spend a fortune or you can spend many thousands of dollars on artwork there. It's, it's a, it's a great show uh, well run. And, and I always love doing it. Yeah, you made two really good points that there is something there for everybody and every price point. I mean, you can buy something Correct. for five bucks, you can buy something for five thousand um, dollars. Yeah. And it's just the the amount. I mean, give people, Karen, give people an idea of the scope of this show, okay? Just in case they've never been there before. 
Um, so it covers 30 city blocks um, throughout downtown Ann Arbor. Um, so just to kind of give you landscape, um, there's close to a thousand artists in a normal year. Um, we have a little bit fewer this year just because we're spacing things out because of COVID and we want to give people room to breathe. Um, but yeah, in a normal year, we have close to a thousand. So it is the largest art fair in the nation. Yeah. And now with all the restaurants, you, I mean, they've blocked off streets. You can eat outside. You can be, yeah, it's just. Uh, there will be more wonderful. restaurants than ever out, out on the streets this year. So we're excited about that. There, there's not going to be, normally we have food courts. There will be no food courts this year. We're encouraging people to stop in, visit the local restaurants because they've been struggling too throughout the pandemic. So um, it's good for them to have the event and access to the audience. So visit the restaurants. They're great. Ann Arbor's a foodie town. So oh. It's totally a foodie town. And Mark, yeah. you haven't said, Mark, yet what your art is. It, it, I'm is a glass like... blower. Oh, yeah, awesome. I do hand, Yeah, hand blown and sculptural glass, mostly non-functional stuff. Um, a lot of times I use a vessel form to start with, but um, I'm hand blowing pieces. And then once they're cold, I'm altering them. I'm cutting them, grinding and polishing them, engraving them, doing some sort of surface articulation on the pieces. Um, I'm very interested in form. Um, I studied a lot of art history in school, specifically a lot of African art. So there's some reference to African art there, although I'm not making African art, it's just kind of a springboard for my work. Um, yeah. it's, it's all handmade. I work totally by myself. So I do all the blowing, all the cutting, all the engraving. Um, and, and I like it that way. But, but you, see, you see, this is why it's so much more fun to buy from the actual artist because you hear the story, the process, you get to know the sure. person. I get cards from everybody and like the vases I buy, I keep the card in the vase. I'm kind of a fanatic about it. Just, yeah. So if you ever come into my house, it'll take about 30 minutes to go through and see all the art and hear the stories. But uh, <laughs> right. <clears throat> well, on a personal level, Karen, from you, I mean, how much fun is it? What does this mean to you to do this in Ann Arbor? Um, I absolutely love it. It's, it's kind of like a, a dream job, right? I don't have the artistic talent, um, but I've always loved art since I was a child, actually. And so for me to be involved and um, to help these artists, first of all, make a living is, is a wonderful feeling. And to, to be part of the economic boost for the city is also a wonderful feeling. So um, it's a lot of fun. The artists become our family um, as we're doing this. So we look forward to seeing them every year. Um, and it was a sad year last year, not getting to see them. So we're looking forward to welcoming, welcoming them back this next week, so. And I, sh I should mention that we will, uh, under the radar, we are gonna be there live on the 16th, uh, doing live Facebook broadcasts uh, throughout the fair. So we'll be talking to artists, uh, people who love art, uh, people, restaurant owners, um, so it's always, I mean, we've done that a couple of times now. We have so much fun because like I said, Ann Arbor is such a wonderfully creative, energetic, um, cool community. It's just a great place to be. Um, it's, and it's so welcoming and so diverse. Um, yeah, it's just a great place to be. So Mark, you're you're on your way into the, uh, you're actually, you're, you're going to another show right now. Right, well, but you mentioned the 16th. Uh, that's another special thing about Ann Arbor. The 16th is my birthday and I generally <laughs> spend my birthday at Ann Arbor <laughs> every year, so. Well, I'll bring a cake. Surprise. I'll bring a cake. Everybody it's bring a cake. Floor. You can right. blow out the candles. <laughs> right, that's it, that's it, so. Well, when I'm not, when I'm not looking for a reasonably, reasonably priced chicken salad sandwich, um, I'm looking for art. So um, I'm gonna be there probably every day with my wife, because she loves going. <clears throat> um, so thanks to both you guys for having talent, for organizing things like this so people like me have something to do so yeah my pleasure we look forward to seeing you there i'll be there I'll, I'll look just like this only i'll be buying art <laughs> yeah good good good, good. buy art i'll That's be important. i'll look just like this but i'll be selling art <laughs> <laughs> and i won't look anything like this because i'll be sweaty and yuck, so <laughs> yeah, right. 